Wow, I am blowing through updates at the moment. I am now on 1.18.13. Unbelievable, sort of one a day. I think there's some issue they're trying to sort out, but uh, we are certainly getting lots and lots of updates. So, where are we? As you know, I spent a lot of time in the Residence Archive and I'm not finished there. I have made one return visit, which raised some possibilities in my mind of something to explore. So I'm not going to put up that visit yet. I'm going to wait to explore some of the ideas I've had before I do that. In the meantime, big stretch there. I am enjoying being outside. I wanted to collect lots of supplies to build with and there's a village that I've been looking at raiding. So I've raided a village, which is always good for producing lots of really, really useful loot. I am building an armory because I got so many bits of interesting armor, but more importantly, a fabulous collection of ancient weapons. So I'm building an armory and I want to build a library. That's what I'm working on. In the meantime, I'm also working on decorating my bedroom better. So let's have a look at all these different bits and pieces I've been up to. This, the next few videos are going to be me working on various projects, uh, including, of course, mending my gorgeous armour. I hope you enjoy this. Well, it appears to be raining in this area, which is good, but look at this. Our olive tree is flowering. It's so pretty. Oh gosh. And we've got more fruit. I am going to have to think about my house and extending it because I've got to, well, I've got so much loot that I want to slot in. And I just have a feeling that where we've got a long line here, let me get this back on. Can you see this line leading from the porch to the left? We've got a nice horizontal line there. We haven't got such a great horizontal line here, but we could extend out here. There's plenty of room. We are not going to have any problems by extending. And I would like to take it out by, have I got any, I haven't got any other, one, two, three for the top. Yeah, take the, take it out to here really. Um, I've got a shovel with me. And I think this whole area would benefit from being flattened. Are you dripping on me? Hello. Oh, we'd have to be careful. I think that would be all right. I think we can keep clear of of that beautiful, beautiful tree. That looks better even without that large lump of ground there, doesn't it? Quite close to the bees, which I don't mind. I like the bees. They look gorgeous. So we'll just clear this and I'll make a little start and come back to you. So here I am again, trying to make some more of this beautiful meteoric iron plate that I like so much. Actually, it's not plate. I've made the plate, it's chain mail. My jerkin, my top part of my chain mail, my meteoric iron chain mail, was utterly shredded in the Resonance Archive. I was very glad I'd chosen meteoric iron chain mail, but it has actually shown me how pretty it looks and how very good it is as armour. So I've just made a couple of bits and I'm going to try to mend my armour. Nice. Wait till it stops bubbling. Yay. Okay, I've already mended to a certain extent my chain leg armor. That does look as if I could do with one more mending, but this durability zero out of 900. Well, I'm delighted that I had some meteoric iron left. So I've got 
12 nuggets in here that'll make six ingots and 12 nuggets in here that'll make another six ingots. So we are gradually working forwards to mending our beautiful, beautiful armour. Wow, that was catching the light. We've got a lot of lead, silver, gold, not quite enough iron here, but I know I've got a lot of iron over here. Yeah, meteoric iron, I've only got seven nuggets there. Iron bloom, I've got seven. Iron nuggets, I've got 64. Hmm. I've got lots of other nuggets. What are we doing on ore? Have we got any iron left? Cassiterite. We're going to have to go iron mining, aren't we? Anth anthracite, good grief. Um, I've just parked that there. Copper. Hematite. That's iron. Right, let's grab a hammer and let's pound this ore. 16. Oh, that's not many, is it? It's all right. Let's pop it in our. Uh, not that one. No, not that one. Ah, nuggets. Come on. Yeah, we're up to eighty here. That's limonite, magnetite, and hematite. So we've got three different types of iron. We need to go on mining. Okay. In the meantime, I've been making glass because I'm going to extend out this way as you can see you, you can see that I followed the same format as over there um, there's something about the repetition of pattern in buildings that makes them into a cohesive whole and I may go wandering and mining now we might might follow the same pattern here. Uh, I'm not convinced I'm going to. Uh, that's looking good, actually. Uh, I can't get it easily, so I'm not going to bother. Yeah, and this is what it will look like from here. I'm short of a, a block there. Started on the roof. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Now I've got some more blocks to deal with this. And I am building at night when it's calm. Why not? The moon is over there. But what I do want to do while it's calm is I had dr dropped a lot of stuff in there. Just want to put a couple of lanterns in there. I've got so much spawning in there. I'll need more lanterns than this, but this is what we've got at the moment and it will at least keep some... wow some of the beasts away did you hear that this is meant to be a calm night guys yeah that's better oh yuck yeah you don't look very nice do you oh wow let's get under shelter i don't fancy fighting these drifters all right, let's just shut the doors behind us. I have done a lot of replanting. It's been a joy to actually do something outside for a change. All right, let's get that up there. Good, pause for thought. You may have noticed that I have found the most wonderful place for some of the crystals that I picked up in the Resonance Archive. That beam was made for crystals. <laughs> now, I had a little walk in the woods and I have picked up some marvellous, marvellous tree seeds. For the third time, I took down a green spar cactus, cypress. And this is the third tree and I got three seeds. So I'm feeling very, very good that we've actually got those seeds. So... Let's have a look at where we want to put these. I have an idea where I want to put them. I want to put them on either side of this central section 
but I want to put them a little bit further out. So I would like to take a line from here That's it, straight out here. And I want to get them, I want to get them level at the end of there, but I don't want, oh, I've got a rise. Ah. So if I put them out here, they'll be uneven. Uh, is that, yeah, oh my goodness, I tell you what, the best laid plans sometimes go wrong, but it would look good there, and what would also look good is to take this out, I think I'm going to bite the bullet on this one, and take down the grass, Right, let's take this line up here. Okay, and then we're on the right line here. Yeah, that's the right line. That's it. Let's hope they will thrive there. And then I want to put another one in and I want to put it in at the other side and see if we can grow it. So it's going to be one, two, three. I'm going to do four. There we go. That's them all planted. And I hope that they thrive. Let's put that back. Actually, this can go back that's what we want in there is this sandstone rock I'm going to have to extend my cellar again that's it every time I need more sandstone rock for that beautiful horizontal line yeah that's gonna look a lot better it's so tempting to move all this and put a really nice garden out here that's what I should be doing Let's go around the other side. I've got two of these. And this is where I have been building. In that I've come round the back here and I'm in the process of building. Okay, so here I am actually seriously contemplating whether this is the right layout because if you look at this it comes out the back I'm fine with this bit I'm going to be cutting off some of this uh, water which I don't particularly like but I'm just wondering whether to take the line across here to here now on on the plan that will look a bit square but in fact, um, it's actually reducing the squareness, I think, because it would take it out to here. That's a very square bit there. I want an armory and a library and a conservatory. So all that has to be fitted in. And I'm just not sure about this wall here or whether I go down to this depth because we could put a room across there. How does this look? We've got one on that end. Oh my gosh. And two there. See, we could take yeah, if we took that wall out there, that would be better for the armory. And then we could move, I think. Yeah, let's just plot this out. You know I build on the fly. I don't plan buildings very well. 
Yeah, I think that's right. So if we put the... Uh, is that right? It's... No, it's not. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, if the armory comes in here, that's quite a decent size for an armory. It's a beautiful day. I've got some charcoal burning up in the charcoal burner. And I am going out over to an area I've just discovered I'm leaving my basket behind. That would not be sensible on this trip because I want to collect some stuff. So I need to get that off my bar. And put that on. And I am actually, ah oh yeah, I'm building. At the moment I am building an armory copper crude black bronze wow uh, let's leave the copper arrows we'll just take the crude ones i'm taking this in case there's some trees i want i've got some food let's go now the area i want is an area that i've discovered it's right out here and you can see on the map up here I've actually discovered a city and I want to go up there. I've got food on me, but we can collect as we go. It's not that far. It looks it, but it's not. So we can just go and have a nice day raiding the ruins. Now, it might be very much a fighting day as well. And the reason for that, of course, is that up there it is absolutely infested with hyenas mind you it's infested down here they are my go-to source if i need wild meat or anything else for that matter hides they're supplying most of my leather certainly animal fat for building which is fantastic look at this it's beautiful out here absolutely beautiful and there is clay, food, hyenas, gazelles, lovely. We will go across the desert. I came out here, actually, no, because I thought I'd seen a meteor out here. Turned not to, out not to be. But I did find that the trader out here that I've been eyeing up for a long time is actually an agricultural trader. It's come through the lowlands here. Look at that gazelle. And we've got loads of cacti up here. It's such a pretty area. Oh, hello. Right, let's mark that. Where am I? So if we go to rocks, copper. Don't you just love that? Absolutely. There's the agri trader that we've just recently discovered. And if we head up in this direction, yeah, I can see you. There are thousands of hyenas up here. Also, I think there may be some bauxite. Can you see that orange on that pinnacle sticking up? I think that might be bauxite. It's a beautiful area up here. And I think, you know, if I raid this place, I'm going to have to fight my way through it all the time. Oh, there's copper there. Oh, my word. That surface copper. Goodness me. Now, it's up here. Just check whether I'm in the... Oh, I'm on the wrong side of this water. It's come... Oh, whoops. Let's come around. Yeah, there's so many hyenas up here. It's very distressing to think we're going to have to fight our way through all of them. But look at this. 
beautiful, beautiful village. And I've raided a couple of pots of forage, but I think there's a lot more pots to go. And a lot, oh, it's absolutely infested. They probably just have to kill everything. What? Oh, you're there, are you? Oh, gosh. Yeah, run away. And you. I suppose we could kill them and leave their corpses around. Now, there's some pretty good ruins here. Ah, oh, there's another pot over there. I want to do the pots first. Oh, gosh, I've killed one. That hadn't quite been my intention, but seeing as it's there, let's harvest it for the fat. I can hear bees. Right, there we go. I am leaving its skeleton there. Right. Copper, three copper. Right. Yeah, I want to, I'm not sure whether to, ooh, hello. I have given in and made myself a steel shovel knowing I was gonna come up here and raid ruins. Let's just eat something, then we heal. And let's move that up there, move that up there. Okay. Right, systematically then. Ha! Another one. Oh my word! Black coal! Treasure indeed. Oh! Oh my word! Ooh! Oh, I've got some horsetail poultice. Chalk, nice. Umpteen sticks. Those are the same. I've got four horsetail poultices. Got 31 sticks now. Splendid. Now the only question, if it's that good, is there any more? Is there an underground? area here. I don't think so. Okay. Right. Let's try and find a way out. I wouldn't mind taking a lot of this cobble actually. It may take me some time to raid this place, going to and fro. Okay. Right. Ruin one. Let's just have a look under here. Just in case there's something under this end. No, no, I don't think so. Okay, okay. It's a shame we can't keep some of these pots to store loot in. Oh, uh, while I still can, let me get my basket out. Uh, do you pop it somewhere defensible? Right, let's pop things that we want to keep in there. Chalk, coal, quartz chunks. Nice. Hides, We. I think we're going to get more hides. Um, sandstone we don't need to put in yet. Let's raid this other one. Oh! 
Brown clay. Fire clay. Okay, let's pop that in. Right, now, we've had a good look at that one. Oh, another pot. Oh my goodness. Look at this. We had four poultices. These are so useful. I tell you what, being in the residence archive has made me really appreciate this. And shale stone? That's odd. Okay. Ooh. This is one of those sort of... Um... Oh my word. Nice. Nice. Let's get this out. I've got a linen sack, okay, and a basket. Hmm. Right. I do want to dig down in some of these ruins so we can come to anything else. Okay, so looking down here, yeah. No, there is nothing. Okay, worth a try. All right, so that one's done, that one's done, that looks huge. Oh, I've got another pot over here. Oh, eat. Yeah, this is an area that needs a lot of raiding. This could be interesting, this one. I like the look of this. We need to dig down here, but first let's get this pot. Oh, claystone. Oh, and linen. I do not like claystone. So let's try and find. Oh. Ah, oh. oh, I'm liking this. Okay. Oh, we've got two pots here. And some junk metal. Right, let's take the junk metal. So we've got metal parts. Oh, this is very exciting. Um, yeah. Okay. I am going to run home with this loot. Fantastic. My ruined village is up over here through an absolutely hyena infested area. Yeah, I know. Nasty things. Beautifully drawn to be nasty. Let's get some copper marked. Good. And I have found a very big cave entrance over here. But at the moment I'm enjoying looting the village. So let's get over there. Wow. All sorts of prettiness on the way. Am I going in the right direction still? I hope I am. Have I missed it? No. Just need to go... That way. That's it. Now, I'd just found somewhere that had a couple of big ore pots in it. So I just want to go back and have a look at those ore pots. This is our ruined village here. Oh, wonderful. 
these things hunt me i'm sure they don't just appear they hunt me yeah now where did i find those all pots oh um ruins it's that one of course it is it's under this thing yeah this is where they were let's have a little look at this we've got these two with us anything behind here just checking oh that was a storage vessel excellent oh that looks like bamboo yes and sticks interesting i thought they were ore so what else is under here if anything let's pick the blocks up ah Nice. This is what we want. Well, if the... Is there anything under here? No. Hey-ho. Let's try through here. Ooh. Worth looking. Okay, let's dig ourselves out of here. Ah, oh, we're into the next one. Right, let's have a look over here. Oh my word, I can't see a pot here at all. Let's block off some of this water I may have some water underneath here I know all right let's have a look that's quite a big ruin there let's dig down and see oh another another pot I don't know what's in here. Food. Uh, yep. Okay. This looks as if it ought to go down further, doesn't it? But does it? Hmm. I suspect not. I'm very interested in that. I don't have a chisel on me, but I would very much like, I'm not gonna get my chisel. Um, yeah, I want to see if I can chisel up these blocks. I think that would be a very good idea. Is this blue clay? Yes, it is. Well, let's run home with this lot. And then we'll come back and see if we can chisel those blocks. I am desperately hoping. Oh. No. Dang it. Maybe if I try on the other side of the block. No, as soon as I chisel it. The moss disappears. Oh, what a disappointment. Ah, oh. well, I tried, I tried, but I, I really would like to be able to get some mossy blocks, I think. Aha, uh -huh. forage. Ooh, excellent, far clay, flax. Oh, more. Oh, that's just a storage vessel. Fantastic. 
I mean, that's really good to find that. This looks a promising little place. Anything under here? No. Looking for these underground rooms just in case. Nope. Ah, aha. So we've got reeds. I got something else there. Um, I'm just going to put this one down. Now I've got another one under here. Nothing in the treasure chest, but we want it. Let's take that. Um, I think what I will do is while I've got space here, let us get our basket off and let's put the storage vest in there, the hammer, the chisel, which I will, you know, love, but that's not going to give me what I want. Um, that's can I park in there? Those, those. Couple more slots, chalk, copper shears. Okay, let's get this back on our back. Okay, and let's get up this oh, chest. Lovely. I have loads of these now. But I do like having them. Ooh. What's that? Oh, it's cobblestone now. I've got some reeds and some blue clay and some flint. Okay, let's get our lantern back. Okay, now is there anything else under here? No, right, let's dig our way out. So, I had a great time looting that village and got lots and lots of interesting things. I found two underground rooms, actually three. One had a couple of pots in, one had the little stool in, one had an owl chest in. So it just goes to show not only do you get very good loot in these villages, but you also get some underground rooms. I've done a bit of building and in the next episode we will continue to try to get the armory looking halfway decent and maybe do a bit of decoration. I'll see you in the next episode, I hope. Bye bye, my friends.